Good morning and happy Saturday to all of our friends tuning in today. My name is Celeste and here at the Harris County Public Library, we're in full swing with our annual summer reading program. This year's theme is Tells and Tells and with that we have another fantastic program for you today. In the studio we have none other than Andy Rue. Today's presentation is part two of Water Tales, where we'll sing and dance with our amazing tales and follow Andy Rue on a musical journey through oceans, rivers, and lakes. So without further ado, let's bring in Andy Rue. Hello. Hello. Thanks, Celeste. Hello, Thank everybody. You. Good to see you. I'm Andy Rue all the way from the Andy Rue-niverse. Verse. Verse. <laughs> it's great to be here this morning. We have an exciting show planned for you. So the theme, like Celeste told us, is tales and tales, right? Two kinds of tales, the tales we tell, the tales that we move, that we wag. So we have all these tales that we're going to talk about, and we're going to actually make uh, a tale. So if you were with us on a Wednesday, that was our shape your tail day. And today is our shake your tail day. <laughs> but if you missed us on Wednesday, that's okay. We are going to make one of the tails to show you how to make them. And then you can try making your own at home. And this first song, this one is called Tadpole. It's probably one of the smallest tails of all, the tadpole. And our little friend, the tadpole, wants to grow up to be a frog or a toad. He's not sure which one yet. Are you sure about what you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Maybe you have to scratch your head and think about it. Hmm. <laughs> that's a big question, right? Well, like our little friend, the tadpole, that's okay if we don't know what we want to be when we grow up. So I'm going to start us off with tadpole. And if you want to participate in the craft today, be sure to grab some paper. You'll need at least two pieces of paper. If you have construction paper, that's great. If you just have a uh, regular white paper or writing paper, that's fine too. So if you have some paper and uh, some glue or a glue stick or a glue bottle, that would be great. And a little bit of tape. You don't need too much tape, maybe just a little bit. And some crayons if you want to draw on your tail. So here we go. This first one is Tadpole. Tadpole, oh tadpole, swimming around in the streams and the swamps and the puddles and the lakes, dreaming all your froggy dreams. Tadpole, oh tadpole, dreaming of hopping on a log, but first you must be a polywog before you turn into a frog or a toad. Now get ready to swim with me. Here we go. Swim, 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 swim. Swim with all your friends. Shake, shake, shake your tail. Shake. Splash around in the water, splash around just like a whale. Splash, 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 splash. <laughs> tadpole, hey tadpole, teeny tiny tadpole, not for long. You are getting bigger every day. And soon you will become a frog or a toad. Soon you will become a frog or a toad. Soon you will become a frog or a toad. Yeah, so that's our little friend, the tadpole. Now you heard me talk about our little friend, the tadpole, getting bigger every day growing into a frog or a toad. Looks like we have some comments over here. Corey, hey, Corey's here. Uh, Evan and Alex are tuning in. Hey, hey, Evan and Alex, thanks so much for tuning in to shape your tails. I hope you have your tails ready that we worked on. Uh, we're gonna make a tail. Speaking of 
animals that keep on growing. Did you know that alligators, they keep growing their whole life? Wow. We learned that on Wednesday and Wednesday's show. And we're going to make an alligator tail. So if you look at this tail right here, you can see here's the end of the tail. And here's the front of the tail. And we're able to put it on our arm like this. And so the tails that we're making today are little arm puppets. And now you can see I can make the alligator mouth like this. <laughs> so let's learn how to make our alligator tail. Now, first, we'll need some materials. You will need two pieces of paper, okay? Two pieces of paper. Set my guitar down. And you can pick any color paper you like. I'm going to make an orange alligator today. Let's see, maybe I'll do orange. And how about, so this time, this one I had, I had orange and I had orange triangles, orange spikes. Let me make one with, how about with red spikes today? So the first thing we'll do for our tail piece of paper is we will fold it long ways like this. So it looks like that, like a like a submarine sandwich. Yum, 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 yum. And then you'll take the, the fold side. So the fold side is going to be down and the open side is up like this, and then you take a crayon or a pencil, it can be any color, we're just going to use this to draw a line, so we can draw a line from one corner to the other, like that, see that, it's the line that goes all the way, oh, all, all the way from here to here, like that. And then we take our scissors. <gasps> oh, it looks like I don't have a scissors with me. Maybe some of you don't have a scissors at home either. If you don't have a scissors, you can actually fold along that little line. Let's see. Fold along the line here. Almost like a paper airplane, actually. So if you have a scissors, you can cut. If you don't have the scissors, you can fold and then tear right along that line. There we go. Oh, I'm excited about this because it's going to look a little bit rougher, which if you've seen a, an alligator before, they have really kind of tough, leathery skin. So that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to fold the other side. There we go. You can trim along there. So alligators use their tails to protect the, themselves. They also use them to propel through the water. And like we said, they never stop growing. There we go, that's gonna be just fine. Oh, I like that actually, it's a little bit rough on the top. And then the next thing we want to do with our tail, so now you'll see it kind of folds like this, it should be a triangle shape. So we're going to set this aside for now. And the next thing we need to do is make our little triangle spines here. So you can take a uh, another piece of paper if you like, and you can cut along here and just make a straight line across for some little, um, like a long rectangle. And then we'll cut that into squares. So I'm gonna fold mine. Fold it back this way too. And then there we go. Trim the paper. And 
And then we can turn this into little squares. See, if you don't have a scissors, you can just fold it like that. And then we tear out the little squares or cut the little squares. Okay, so now we have some squares. And we also have a big triangle left over from our other piece of paper. So if you want, you can use a big triangle from here. So maybe I'll have an orange triangle for one spike. Like that. So you can see it's going to go into the tail like this. And now we have a cool spike. See that? Oh, thanks for saying you love the show and the song. That's really nice. Then we're going to take these squares. We're going to turn them into triangles. So you can actually just fold this in half or cut it in half like a diamond. Just like that. So I'm going to tear mine in half. And there we go. We have my little triangle. So now you have a big triangle, little triangle, and I'll do one more little triangle. So we have those three. So if you can see this, there's a big triangle, little triangle, little triangle. And then we need our glue. And I'm gluing the bottom of the triangle to the top part of the tail so that it sticks out like this. See that? And we'll glue the next triangle. You can see I'm working on a big piece of cardboard today. I really like using cardboard because I don't have to be really neat with the glue. I can get a little bit on the table and it doesn't get my table all sticky. So if you have an extra piece of cardboard laying around, you can use that when you're doing your crafts. Okay, so there we go. We have our three triangles. And now we need to glue the rest of the tail together. So we'll just take the glue and just glue over the whole thing on the inside. There we go. And then fold it over. Okay, and there we go. We have our tail. <laughs> But we're not done yet. We want to be able to use this as an arm puppet, right? So what we need now is a, a wristband for our tail. So if you want to take um, the extra piece of paper that you have, the extra triangle from your, your tail that you cut, you should have a couple of loose triangles. You can wrap this around your arm like this. And if you have a little bit of tape, you can tape it on there. But first, we'll glue this to the tail. So it's going to be glued just like, like this. Okay. That way, it'll stick and we'll be able to wear the tail kind of like a watch, like a wristwatch. So we put that down, push it. <laughs> and it stays on there and then you can wrap this around and if you have this is where the tape comes in handy if you have a little bit of tape you can tape the uh, one part around your arm and just leave it on your shirt for a second and then take the other part of the tail Add the tape. And there you have it. There's your tail. There's your alligator tail. 
Uh, okay. So there you go. I hope you enjoy that. And, you know, you can make any kind of other tail. On Wednesday, we made a platypus tail. We're going to do a platypus song. But you can see for the platypus, we took one of our pieces of paper and we folded it into a tube. And we added some little square feet on the bottom. And then the other, the part of the tail for the platypus looks like a paddle like this. So this was really, really easy to make. And then we did one that was a shark. And the shark, we had to we had to draw the lines for the shark on the page and then cut out around it. So you can see we have a shark, but we can wear this one too on our on our arm. And then you can swim like you're a shark and have your shark mouth like this. So think about all the different water tails that you could make today. But that alligator one we're, we're starting with. I actually came up with a little song. We talked about it because I didn't have an alligator song. So I started working on one this week. And maybe we can work on this a little bit today. And since the Harris County Public Library has been doing 70s month, they're celebrating um, this year a big anniversary. And we, we were talking about the 70s. Uh, I did this song, like kind of like it sounds like an Elvis Costello song. So you can ask your parents about Elvis Costello. He was really popular in the 1970s. So this one's called Alligator. <laughs> I'm an alligator and I never stop growing. I'm an alligator and I never stop Growing up, I'm an alligator and I never stop growing up. I'm an alligator and I never stop growing. I'm an alligator and I never stop growing up. I'm an alligator and I never stop growing up. <laughs> oh, isn't that fun? Our friend, the alligator, he uses his tail. He swims in places like the bayou. You know, we have bayous in Houston. What rhymes with bayou? Ooh, I know. You might see me swimming by you in the bayou. See me swimming by you in the bayou. See me swimming by you. In the bayou. <laughs> What's something else that our alligator can do? What does our alligator do? I'm an alligator. And, and, you know, there are a million ways you can play these songs, too. I'm playing it kind of slow like this. But we could also play it with our fingers. So I was just using this guitar pick. Oh, we have a comment. Our friend Luna. Luna says her alligator is blue and orange. I like that. So we could maybe we could add that to our song. So we could say, some alligators are green. But Luna's is blue and orange. Some alligators are green, but Luna's is blue and orange. <laughs> Thanks, Luna. That's great. I really like that. We have a blue and orange alligator. And we can play the song like this, like if it's an alligator lullaby. And I'm an alligator. I never stop growing. I'm an alligator and I never stop growing. I'm an alligator, I never stop growing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you have any other alligator um, tips you want to add or, or things about your alligator that you made, let me know in the comments. And they'll be sure to, to tell me, and then I can add that to my song, to our, our song today. 
Um, the, this next song that we'll do, this one is about my favorite time of year, which is right now, the summertime. So I hope you're enjoying your summer. And the summer is a perfect time to get out there and look at all the different tales, especially like those alligator tales. There's some other ones like um, shark tales that you might see at the beach. <gasps> we'll talk more about our little friend, the shark in just a minute but this is the summertime song wake up it's summertime and grab your bucket let's build a sand castle to the sky Oh, I love the summertime Building castles with my friends Oh, I love the summertime I hope this summer never ends What are your favorite parts about summer? Let us know. Swim soon and flip flops. I feel the sand between my toes. Ice cream and palm trees, blue water and a breeze. In the summertime, oh, I love the summertime. Ice cream melting on my friends. Oh, I love the summertime. Hope this summer never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. No, no. Can you whistle? like we have a few more comments our friend Nicole has a yellow and green alligator oh that's great she loves the pool the library and popsicles in the summer oh yeah I love popsicles too Martha's here hi Martha hey and Liam's here too hey Liam the sun's low it's time to go to the park and watch the show. Fireworks, gold and blue. I see the stars and I feel the boom of the summertime. Oh, I love the summertime. Moonlight smiling with my friends. Oh, I love the summertime. I hope this summer never ends. I hope it never ends. I hope it never ends. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
so much fun this summertime well um let me show you another one of our tales here today so i have a friend my next door neighbor podgy podgy is a platypus that's right <laughs> my next door neighbor here in the andy universe is a platypus named podgy and podgy came over one day and knocked on my door and i answered the door and said hello podgy how are you and podgy said andy rue i am upset with you and i said why why podgy what did i do and podgy said it's not what you did it's what you haven't done you haven't written a song about me and i thought oh my goodness you're right i haven't written a song about you tell you what podgy come back at dinner time because this was in the morning come back at dinner time and i will have the best song for you and podgy said okay but it better be good and this is what podgy looks like podgy has <laughs> a tail like a beaver a paddle tail and he also has a bill like a duck so here's Paji. You could you could see Paji was really angry with me. I'm really mad at you. And walks around like this. So when I was watching Paji walk away, I started thinking about how the song might go, the, the rhythm of the song. <laughs> and so that was the easy part. I came up with the melody for the song very quickly. All the chords put together. But then the hard part happened. Not a lot of words rhyme with platypus. So I wanted to write a song for my friend Podgy the platypus, but not a lot of words rhyme with platypus. So my friends out here, Melissa, Nicole, Martha, Liam, Evan, not a lot of words rhyme with platypus. Luna, not a lot of words rhyme with platypus. And Alex, can you think of a word that rhymes with platypus? You know, I couldn't think of one, so I made up some words. Here we go. Listen very carefully for the made up words in this song. Why are you so sad, a puss? Your best friend's a platypus. Don't you know that a platypus makes a, a great best friend? You should thank mom and dad, a puss, for moving next door to a platypus. Now you know that a platypus makes a, a great best friend. He's the coolest thing you ever saw. He makes the people gasp with awe, drop their jaw at his poison claw. <gasps> a platypus has one poison claw. That's right. <laughs> and don't you know that a platypus makes a, a great best friend? Why are you so sad, a puss? Your best friends are platypus. Don't you know that a platypus makes a, a great best friend? You should thank mom and dad a puss for moving next door to a platypus. Now you know that a platypus makes a, a great best friend. A rabbit's foot might bring good luck, but platypus tells the truth with the bill of a duck. Quack. <laughs> Hey, don't you know that a platypus makes a, a great best friend? Oh. <laughs> 
And so when Paji came over, he was really happy with the song. He said, thanks, Andy Rue. This is a really good song. I like it. So if you want to make your own platypus, remember, you can roll up a piece of paper like this. And you could tape it and then add the little feet on the bottom. And then you have the, the tail part. So you can see this is how I put together this tail. So you just have a paddle tail. And then the same thing, the wrist band. And the wristband goes inside so that the tail goes inside here. And then you can put your arm through. And there you have your platypus. <laughs> really, really fun. So our little friend, the platypus, his tail provides stability while he's going through the water. And we learned this on Wednesday. We learned that our friend the platypus doesn't have a stomach. Isn't that amazing? When a platypus eats food, it goes from the esophagus directly to the small intestine. I did not know that. One of our viewers told us that. So that's really, really cool. If you want to learn more animal facts... If you're at the library, you can always ask the librarians. They know everything. So if you're at Harris County Public Library, be sure to talk to one of the librarians and ask them, where can I find out more about a platypus? And they probably know quite a bit because they read a lot of books. And they also know which books to go to to find all of those great animal facts. So be sure to go to the library and read lots of books so that you can learn all about these fun animal friends. Next. One of my favorite places to be during the summer is outside because that's where all the animals are. And we can play all kinds of games together, too. Oh, look, I've got another comment here from our friend evan evan says pete the cat has a platypus neighbor too his name's gus wow that's great that's awesome i had no idea i wonder if gus and podgy know each other that would be really interesting wow well this next song is called today and it's all about going outside to play so let me know, what are the games that you like to play outside? You can let us know in the comments. Um, but in this song, when you hear me say today, clap your hands twice like this. Today, 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 today is the day we will go outside and play. All right, here we go. Today, today, clap, clap, today, today, today is the day we will go outside and play. Today, 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 today is the day we will go outside and play. We had a lot of fun yesterday. And I hope we will have fun tomorrow. But today is today, so let's have some fun right now. Here we go, get ready to have fun. One, two, three, today, 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 clap, clap, today. Today is the day we will go outside and play. That's today, today, today. Today, today is the day we will go outside and play. Today. Yeah, today is the best day to go outside and play. So as we were saying, we can explore when we go outside. Maybe during the summer you like to go to the beach. 
And sometimes when you're in the beach, you look out onto the water, you can see a shark, shark, or a dolphin, right? You can see all kinds of things, or, or uh, you could see seals or sea lions. So they're all out there in the beautiful ocean. And our friend the shark today, let me show you, we made a great white shark on Wednesday. Do, 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 do. And he looks like this. And I said on Wednesday that our friend the great white shark has over 300 teeth. Well, that's true, but it's actually a lot more than that. I forgot a zero. He has over 3,000 teeth. Can you believe that? Wow, 3,000 teeth. Isn't that amazing? So our little friend, the great white shark, probably has the biggest smile in the ocean. <laughs> See that? Bum, 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 bum. Hello, I am the great white shark. <laughs> so if you want to make your, your shark puppet today, the easiest way to do it is to take a piece of paper and you fold it the long way, just like we said. And the belly of the shark is going to be the bottom of the uh, paper, so the fold. The fold is the belly of the shark. And let me show you very quickly. So if we have the tail, the, the sharks have a crescent tail, and this pushes them through the water. And they can actually swim, even though they're super, super big sharks, they could swim up to 15 miles per hour. Isn't that cool? Wow. So if we, if we want to draw our friend the great white shark, we're going to have the belly on the bottom. That's the folded part. And on the top, this is where the, the pointy uh, fins are going to be, okay, and the tail. So you could start on one side and draw the big part of the tail. The top is bigger than the bottom. Draw a little part on the bottom. Kind of like that. So let's see if you can see. Well, maybe draw a little darker. There we go. See, you can draw your tail. And then at the on the top of the tail, there's this little fin before you get to the big fin. So let's draw the little fin. Like that. So now it looks like that. So there's a little fin. And then we'll draw the big one. We're going to do a big curve all the way to the top of the paper. So it's like a big triangle. And you don't have to, the shark's body doesn't have to go all the way to the end of the paper. But you can see like this. And then the bottom, you can just use the fold for the paper. So it looks like that when you're all done. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> and then you cut that out, and you have your shark. And just like the other ones, you glue together the middle, and you put the wristband on it. And when you're done, it looks like this. So there we go. That's our, our friend, the shark. I think I have another shark. I made a couple. So if you make one with your friend, you can have two sharks. You can go swimming together. <laughs> so I made a song about our friend, the great white shark. And it goes like this. Five 
gills, four fins. He's big from eating tuna fish. He's a great white shark. He's a great white shark. He sleeps in a cave or under stuff. <laughs> he lives in the ocean. He's a great white shark. A great white shark. He's a great white shark. He has the greatest smile with 3,000 teeth. He's the great white shark. <laughs> there we go. And did you know that the great white shark, that sharks don't like to eat people? That's a big, uh, that's a myth. People think like every anytime you see a shark in the ocean, they're going to swim up and try to eat you. That's not true. They actually don't like to eat us. They like to eat other things. Like we said in the song, like tuna, they love other to eat other fish. So don't be scared if you do see a shark, but you know, be careful. Be careful if you do see a shark, get out of the water, definitely. Um, but don't worry too much about the shark coming to eat you right away, okay? <laughs> our friends, our, our animal friends out there are nice to us if we're nice to them. Oh, we have some more. Thanks. Thank you so much, Martha, Corey, Elizabeth, Genghis, Melissa. Jameis, Gary, thank you for liking the show today. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you, Evan, for saying that you love the song so much. It's That means a lot to me. It's really special that you tune in and make these crafts and listen to the songs. And I really appreciate you coming to the shows. So thanks so much. And if you want to listen to more Andy Rue music, you can find me online at ruesongs.com. That's R-O-O -O songs.com. And let's do another song here. So we have um, all these <laughs> different pieces of paper here. And a lot of them look like something that I like to eat during the summertime. I like to eat, and it was something that our friend... Nicole mentioned earlier, I like to eat popsicles during the summer. So if you like to eat popsicles, you could probably make a little popsicle with your piece of paper, right? So if you have a scissors, your popsicle is probably going to look a little bit better than mine. <laughs> but if we take about this size pretty good popsicle size and then we could make the, the corners be a little bit curved like a popsicle <laughs> maybe fold it over a little bit yeah like our little friend the popsicle so if you if you have a popsicle, I would recommend eating one today. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> out of the freezer or going to the store, getting some popsicles. It's so hot outside. You want to make sure that you stay nice and cool. Uh, but this next song is called Popsicles. It's a love song about popsicles, too. might be wondering, Andy Rue, I didn't know you could write a love song about popsicles, but it's true, you can. You can write a love song about anything. I love popsicles, yes I do. They come in every color, yellow, orange, and blue. Green and red, purple, pink, and what do you think? 
about popsicles and do you love them too i eat popsicles with my friends when it's hot outside we stay cool until the end and after those licks we take our popsicle sticks and we build the birds a birdhouse for their chicks Popsicles will make your tongue change color Any one you like It can be green like a lime It can be yellow like a lemon It can be orange like an Like an orange It can be purple like a grape It can be pink like a flamingo Or brown just like a chocolate bar Or blue like a blueberry What are your favorite popsicle colors? Let us know in the chat. I love popsicles, yes I do. They come in every color, yellow, orange, and blue. Green and red, purple, pink, and what do you think about popsicles? Do you love them too? <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> wow. So we've made, let's see, we've shown, I've shown you the, our friend the platypus. We have our alligator. We had our great white shark. That's really great. We have another friend of mine in the Andy Runiverse, Silly Sal the Salamander. He's really small. He's about this 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 small. Maybe about the size of this little piece of paper here. It's our little friend Silly Sal the Salamander. So Silly Sal the Salamander. The interesting thing about Silly Sal, Sal they, they do have a tail. He does have a tail. He's an amphibian, so he goes into the water. He likes the, the uh, lakes and rivers, depending on what kind of salamander he is. But uh, they go into the water, and the interesting thing about the salamander is that a lot of them have a tongue that is 10 times as long as their body. Wow, isn't that crazy? So imagine that. If, you, if your tongue, if you could go and stick out your tongue, and it would go, whoa, all the way across the room. So if you are four feet tall, then your tongue would be 40 feet long. <laughs> that's crazy. That's all, that's taller than the house. That's incredible. So what would you do if you had a tongue that was 40 feet long? Wow, that's a big question. Hmm. I have to think about that one. You could eat a lot of popsicles, that's for sure. But this song is about our friend Silly Sal the Salamander. Can you say that? It's kind of a tongue twister. Silly Sal the Salamander. Can you say this? Silly Sal the Salamander likes to lend a helping hander. Silly Sal the Salamander likes to lend a helping hander. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Silly Sal the Salamander likes to lend a helping hander. Silly Sal the Salamander likes to lend a helping hander. Sal helps all his friends. 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 Silly Sal's a friend indeed. He helps out all his friends in need. Silly Sal's a friend indeed. He helps out all his friends in need. Sal helps all his friends. Sal helps all his friends. Sal helps all his friends. 
Sam helps all his friends. So when you see a friend who needs a helping hand, be like Silly Sal and help him out. As we help all our friends. We help all our friends. We all help all our friends. We all help all our friends. Silly Sal the Salamander. So maybe you can make a little salamander today too. He's so small. He could even fit in my guitar right here. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, he's, Martha says she likes to help her friends too. That's great, Martha. And you love red popsicles. Yes, that's wonderful. It's awesome to help your friends. And to share a popsicle with your friends, that's a, one of the best things. I think most foods taste better when you're hanging out with your friends, you know? I can't explain why. It's just so much more fun when you're having a popsicle with a friend. Sometimes you get those two popsicles, they, you, know, you open it up, and you have the two sticks, and you break them in half and give one to your friend. I really like those. <laughs> Well, I really want you to get up and shake your tail on this one because this song is called Get Up. So here we go. If you have your tail, maybe you have it ready on your arm. Let's see. Maybe I can even play this song with my alligator tail on my arm. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Okay, so here we go. We have to we have to make some room here. Let's hang on to this scrap paper because we could always turn this into a different project later. So don't throw that away. Keep that. We'll put it in a box later, a little scrap paper box, so that we can reuse some of this paper. But let me put this over here because I'm going to show you. We have a, a quick story. We have an alligator who's stumbling along, he's looking He's looking around for some food to eat, and he finds a guitar pick. <gasps> and he decides, wait a minute, what is this? I'm not going to eat this. And then he looks over, and he finds a guitar, and he plays the most amazing song. It's called Get Up. <laughs> Here we go. So watch my alligator friend. Rum, 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 rum. Watch him play the guitar for me on this song. I'm not going to be playing. It's going to be just my alligator friend. Here we go. It's time to get up and move around. It's time to get up and make your get up sound. Put on your get up and go to town. Get up, get out, so you can get down. It's time to get up, get up, get up, and clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap. It's time to get up, get up, get up, and do your get up dance. Do your get up dance. Pull on your get up, get up, and take a stand. Get up, believe in yourself, and take a chance. Here we go. Take it away, alligator. Here we go. Let me see you get up. Up, up, up. Get up. Up, up. Put on your get up. Get up. And take a stand. Get up, believe in yourself, because you can. Here we go. Get up, 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 get
slow down with me. You gotta get up. You gotta get up. You gotta get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So much fun. Our little friend, the alligator. Wow. Did a great job playing the guitar on that song. Isn't that fun? <laughs> well, I think I have uh, one more quick song for you. This is our last one today. This one is called Smile. And then we're going to bring back our friend Celeste. So thank you so much, everybody. Here we go. This is called Smile. So whether you have 25 teeth or 3,000 teeth, I hope you smile with me. Here we go. Oh, you can be anything. An astronaut, a lion tamer, a singer with a song to sing. You can go anywhere. To Mississippi or the moon, to Timbuktu or Saskatoon. And when you get there, stay a while and smile. Smile, everybody. Remember to smile. Smile. You can be anything. A prince or a princess, a waiter or a waitress. You can go up anywhere. To Cairo, Egypt, Arkansas. Paris, France, or Omaha, and when you get there, stay a while, and smile, smile everybody, remember to smile, smile, all right, now shake your tail, shake, 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 yeah, let's shake our tail for Harris County Public Library. 100 years old, still growing, just like our friend the alligator. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody, for coming to the show today. My name is Andy Roo, and now I must go back to the Andy Rooniverse. One, two, three, four, smile, smile, smile. Thanks, everybody. Wow. <laughs> it's so much fun today, Andy Rude. Thank you so much for inviting us to your super special Andy Universe. We can't come wait to come back and visit again. Um, for all of you out there listening, just in case you forgot, by attending today's program, you earn five points for your summer reading total. If you aren't registered yet, go ahead and head over to hcpl.beanstack.org and select the summer reading program. We have a lot more fun coming up for you all, so please join us next Tuesday for a mad science program where we'll get a fun lesson and meet Larry the Laser right here at 2 o'clock. Thank you again, Andy Rue, and thank you all again so much for joining us out there on the internet today. We hope to see you and your family again next Tuesday. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Andy Rue. See you later. Bye. See ya. Thank you.